All right, guys, now we can install the strut. Now, this type of strut is called a McPherson strut. And of course, the strut, you guys can probably already tell what it does just by looking at it. It kind of acts as a shock absorber. It's pretty much a spring. A McPherson strut, the reason they call it this is because I think some guy named McPherson came up with it. It's a combination of kind of two different systems, a coil spring, which is this yellow thing, and also a piston, or some people just call it a cylinder, that's inside this yellow part that moves up and down. So really easy. Again, some people call it a shock absorber. A strut is just a specific type of shock absorber. So now that you know what it is, let's go ahead and put it on. Go ahead and first bolt it on the top, and the way it goes on is it bolts through here on top and here on bottom. So let me do that right now. And I want to show you guys that problem or a problem that we're gonna have. So we bolt it on top, screw it on real quick. Good to go. So then we go, okay, now I'm gonna bolt it on bottom. But look, the strut is too long. So we have a couple options here. First, what we can do is they sell this tool called a strut compression tool. And what it does is it takes these coils and pinches them together. So whenever they pinch together, the piston can pretty much shorten or that little cylinder can go back into the piston. So then you're pretty much your entire strut shortens. But I'm guessing that a lot of you guys, whenever you're building go-karts, you're not gonna have a strut compression tool. So what you can do is this. Instead of squeezing this coil together because you can't by hand no matter how strong you are, what you can do is you can just go ahead and loosen the top arm of your suspension. And whenever you do, make sure you grab onto the bottom because this is going to drop down. Just go ahead and temporarily loosen this. Just let it fall down. And now your arm is going to sway, be able to sway and meet your strut exactly where it needs to be. So go ahead and bolt the bottom on. So now the only thing you have to do is, of course, put your knuckle back into place, and I already showed you guys how to do that. And once you're done with that, do the exact same thing to the other side, and that's it. Your front suspension is good to go. You're ready to move on to the next part. All right, guys, check it out. Our front suspension system is now complete. Both sides have the struts hooked up. I actually did that one before. And they also got both suspension arms and the wheel assembly, the steering knuckle. There we go. So now what we can do is actually hook up the steering, which of course consists of the steering wheel, and you know, the brakes, and well, we got a lot to go. We got a long ways to go, but we're getting there. Looking good so far, so congratulations, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.